Hello everybody, Gamer Penny here bringing you another episode of our Night in the Woods Let's Play. We're back with May. Um, hello. <laughs> Who's this random guy? Um, we are currently investigating some ghosts. So we're going to stop at all of our friends' places along the way. We're going to start with Greg. Uh, my goal is to actually hang out with Angus if at all possible. So if, if Greg wants to hang out, we're going to say no and go talk to everyone else. So... Um, hopefully we'll get to go with Angus. We gotta go, each one of them has a place to help us investigate a ghost. So we'll start with Greg here to see what he wants to say. So, sup kid? How's it snacking, Falcon? <laughs> Just kicking it. Drank too much chocolate milk, and I was thrown up when the light bulb delivery came. I had to sign for it while puking. Jeez, you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Just flew too close to the sun. The chocolate milky sun. So what's up? Just saying hello. Yeah, for smashing some light bulbs. Did, um, just saying hello. Cool. Okay, just saying hello. Cool. All right, so let's go back out, and we are going to uh, continue on down the, down the place. So we came out here, talked to those guys. What's this? Is this their apartment building? It is. Okay. Oops. This is not where I wanted to go. I want to go back in there, though, because there was something on the other side. Um, so let me go back in here. What's this? The stairs? <laughs> oh, is this the stairs to the roof that Greg was talking about? Oh, it is. Okay. Well, what do we do when we jump off this way? How do I get up there, though? Okay. Hold on. Okay. One, two, three. Oh. One, two, three. Okay. Can I go over here? Okay. I don't know where we're going. This is not what I had planned. But. What's this? Get here? Where are we? Oh my god, what the heck? Is he playing to pigeons? <laughs> Is he playing to pigeons? Whoops, sorry. Holy shit, that's a lot of birds. Um, hello? Hello. I'm May. Sadie. What are you doing up here? What are you doing up here? Exploring. Exploring? Same way I found it. Did you know, this is the only stage in town. Are you on stage a lot? Are you on stage on lot? Nope, not for a long, long time at least. Looks like no one's played here in a long time. Yeah, been a few decades. Are you gonna like, put on something here? Oh, I didn't think anyone's gonna be putting anything on here. At least not anytime soon. No electricity, probably structurally unsound. Infested with rats and pigeons. Other than the electricity, that's like most of the town. Ha <laughs> That it is, that it is. Alright. Okay. Uh, is this a devil? Huh. Pentagram. So I can't get on the stage, though. Alright, uh, bye, Sadie. <laughs> that's cool. So I, we found, like, some cool little... Stage, her playing a saxophone, is, is that, oh god, is the saxophone sound, so, okay, is that a girl that's been in our dreams, like, is that, okay, so, one, two, three, oh god, one, two, three, okay, now can, is there anything over here, a satellite, But I can't jump on. Oh, yes, I can. I can't do anything with this. I can jump and make it spin. What is happening? Something flew off. Um. Okay, that's interesting now. Oh, we. Hello, pigeon. Okay, so I, I'm going to try to get to any time. Whoa. 
Is someone moving in? Probably something dumb. I miss you, pizza place. Oh, cool. So anytime we see one of those on the roof, I'm going to actually try to get it. <laughs> Alright, this is where Angus is, so I'm actually going to come back to that. Let's see if we can get and spin something else. I don't know what that is. I feel like we're finding all these Easter eggs. <laughs> you know what this actually reminds me of right now? Um, and weird, weird comparison to make, but it reminds me of South Park, Stick of Truth. <laughs> we're running around finding all these hidden things, so... Can't believe they just leave the band stuff in there. What if someone steals it? What if the building falls down? We should start taking Greg's base home. Just, you know, in case. <laughs> okay. Um, so can we get up here? This is where B is. I want to get on the wires up here. Can't talk to them. Fat pocket. Oh yeah, okay. Um, and we've been to the church because we went out with our mom to Jenny's place. Oh, here's another one. Okay, how do I get up there now? One, two, three! Nope. I gotta jump probably from... Nope, okay. Oh, hey lady. <laughs> She's mad. And a dog. Okay. Oh, there's one up there too. And there's a guy up there. Okay, can't jump on these. Um, okay. Uh, what, what the heck? I could go in the window. <laughs> what do I have to do? Okay. Can I go in the window? <laughs> Are we just in some random person's house? More? Wow, so this is where this stuff ended up. I remember the spring parade. It was so much fun. Till the year that Mallard P. Bloomingrow snapped his tether and ran over Chris Evans. Then they canceled the parade. Cowards. They couldn't cage Mallard. Mallard needed to be free. And neither ropes nor the poor legs of Chris Evans could hold him back. I wonder what happened to both of them. After the parade got canned, there wasn't much going on in the spring, but we still did the Easter basket blessing at the church and ate special pretzels. We didn't bother to bless those. Profane pretzels. <laughs> oh my god, these flowers are fake as hell. Mallard deserves a better memorial. Plastic flowers are, like, super depressing for some reason. Dead flowers are less depressing than plastic ones. Hmm. Where's this go? It's locked. What the hell? That is a fire hazard. No, seriously, is this thing... Is this thing as clearly marked as something it is not? I'm coming back for you, exit door. And we're gonna have a little chat with my boot. Worst exit, easily. Oh, God. Oh, my God! Mallard! <laughs> what have they done to you? We got uh, Mallard forever. <laughs> Mallard P. Blooming Grow, one of my absolute favorite things when I was a kid. Proudest of the spring parade floats. Dude, this is a tomb. This is Mallard's tomb. Mallard, dear dead Mallard, you were my favorite anything when I was a kid. I ran to the spring parade to see you. You were like a big beaky dinosaur. Mallard, you're still amazing forever. Oh, Mallard, probably left here by the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce, forgotten. But I found you, and I know you're here. And still a springtime terror. I'll keep you a secret, Mallard. But I'll visit. Alright. Oh, can we... Mallard, you're pregnant! <laughs> it's one of those God things. Like when you have a baby because God? Holy crap, you are the cutest vermin. Who's the best vermin? You are. You look so hungry. Is that why you're here? Um, not doing anything? I'll come back with food. Don't die. <gasps> I wonder... Ow! I wonder if we can go get the pretzel now and feed it to the mice. Everything is coming together. Okay, so we can't go out that exit. We got mice that we need to feed. Um, if I go out here, I'm hoping maybe I can jump to that other ledge and get the spring, that, that wheel thing, and have it fly into the air. 
I don't know. I feel like we should continue on the story, but uh, this is really interesting. So let's see. Let's do a one, two, three. Oh, did we make it? Okay. All right. Can we jump here and then here? There's a and there's the guy playing the violin. This is our dream. Like, I think these are supposed to be weather stations. Pioneer scouts made them when they weren't playing football or learning about manhood. These are the manliest of miniature windmills for sure. Okay, we're gonna try to see if we can get something to come out of this one too. Here we go, another little helicopter. And then let's go up here. Can we talk to you? Hey, hello, I'm May. Hello May, I'm Salem. Are you a busker? Are you busking? What's busking? I don't know. I think it's when you play outside and people give you money. Are you gonna give me money? No, then I'm not busking. Cool. I just met someone else playing by themselves. Really? Yeah, across town in the abandoned building by the click clack. They had one of those big saxophones. Hmm. I just thought it was an interesting coincidence. Small town. This is... Oh, God. But I wanted to get up on the... Okay. Because I think there's another thing. Hey, dude. Drawing something? Yeah, drawing a bad guy for a movie. Oh god, okay. Have you, like, filmed anything ever? I made a little movie with my phone, and I pirated some movie programs. It's real bad. What's it about? Um, lady finds a window in her wall that wasn't there before, and it's like looking at her backyard. But it's always sunset. There's a guy standing there she can't quite see. Jeez, that's actually kind of creepy. Really? I am creeped. Oh, thanks. I thought it sucked. Where'd the idea come from? I like a lot of horror movies that are really gory, but gory isn't always scary. So I was thinking of what's scary, and I don't know. You're at home, but there's something new. Or maybe you just never noticed it before, and there's someone strange very nearby, and I don't know. What? Nothing. Creepy. Alright, I'm off. See ya. Later. You see someone messed up the mural in the tunnel? Yeah, <laughs> pretty funny. I mean, very weird and bad. Any idea who did it? Nope. Lots of suspects, though. Yeah, a whole town full of suspects. Rip. <laughs> okay, so this is where that guy went. Now, where is the other... No! <laughs> Dang it. Okay. Get there. Okay. So we got this guy playing his thing. I'm gonna jump over here. We gotta probably do the three. One, two, three. Oh no! Oh, dang it. I wanna get up there because I think the other, yeah. The other windmill thing is up there. Sorry guys, this is not continuing the story like I thought we would, but um, I really, oh shoot. Oh no, okay, we're okay. I really want to do it. <laughs> I want to figure out what these windmills are. Um, and we haven't really explored up here before. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Um, can I jump on that little pipey thing? Yep. Then over. Okay. Then we'll get this one. I don't know if there's any more, but... Alright, we've got three of them off now. I have no idea what they do. Oh, I wonder if we could get up there. One, two, three! Okay. No, nope, 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 nope. One, two, three! One, two, three! Okay. We're up here. One, two, three! Okay. Oh. Hmm. Used to sometimes see other people up here. Is this not a thing anymore? Am I just old and out of touch? Whatever, it's awesome. I'm gonna put up a tent and camp out up here. <laughs> okay. Would definitely roll off and die. <laughs> Thought Roof Cat is correct. Miracle Rats. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Okay. Um, Alright. I'm gonna get... Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't want to do that. That's not what I wanted to do at all. 
All right, let's go down, find B. Are we stuck? What's going on? Are we stuck on the loading screen? I think we are. Oh, don't freeze, please. Okay, let's go find B. Missed. Uh, we can just get down, though. The pawn. All right. We run back this way. Hey, pregnant raccoon. Whoops, sorry, squirrel. Okay, here's where B is. So let's go in and talk to her. Hey, B. Hey, B. Hey, May. I think I'm gonna burn this place down. Oh, cool. But also, maybe it might have consequences. We could take the insurance money and, like, not do this. What if you get caught? I saw a show where they got caught someone doing that. You're going to burn this place down for me. Oh, cool. But also, maybe I'd go to jail? No, you have no motive. No one would suspect. So, work's not going well. Ugh. Oh, poor B. Okay, I'll actually do it. Please don't actually do it. Okay, fine. Did you want to check out the graveyard? Uh, nah, not today, because we're going to try Angus first. Okay, well, let me know. Okay, bye, B. Let's go talk to Angus. Excuse me, guys. I'm going to take a sip of my... I got hot chocolate, so give me one sec. All right. We've got our Keurig hot chocolate going on. All right, Angus better be in here. He had bet to be in here. There he is. Okay, hey, Angus. So, I said I could, like, take you up to the park. You did indeed. You ready to go? Yeah. I'm excited! Are you? Yeah, we never get to hang out. Ghost hunting with Angus. So you think the guy you saw was a ghost? Not a guy, a ghost. Right. Why does no one believe me that it was a ghost? Well, I mean, ghosts don't actually exist. Pretty sure they do. Well, I'd need evidence. What counts? A ghost walking up and saying hello. And me saying, hey, I've verified you are a dead person. Could be a zombie. Or a Frankenstein. Maybe if they're made of ghostly stuff. Ghostly stuff can be our podcast. About ghosts. This episode of Ghostly Stuff brought to you by Donut Wolf. Welcome to Ghostly Stuff. I'm May, and I saw ghosts, and this is Angus, who doesn't believe me. I'm Angus, and this is May. She's a crazy person. <laughs> the park. Alright, we are investigating the park. I hope we get to investigate the other two. Nice evening. Yeah, it's alright. My mom used to take us up here to play frisbee. I got hit in the teeth with a frisbee once, full speed. Jeez. Casey and me were throwing things at each other's heads. Oh. We stopped after the frisbee. <laughs> oh, so she was friends with Casey and he's just missing. Posted. Do not feed or touch the wildlife. That seems extreme. Well, that seems extreme. I don't know. You can't go to the woods to, like, socialize with the woods. I guess. There's some folks living in cabins up here. You can, uh, feed and touch them if you want. <laughs> it's a weird old place up here. There's all kind of weird stuff back up in the park. Old stuff just hanging out in the woods. We'll hit my old scout camp on the way up, I think. Busy woods. Okay, better get going before it gets dark. Let's see what we got in the park. Come on, Angus. The leaves on the ground. I wonder if I could have climbed that mountain. I don't, I don't want to get separated from Angus. <laughs> this is kind of... Oh, we are going to climb the mountain. We're going to go back up that way, it looks like. What's this? A, like a furnace or something? Puff, puff. You alright? Yeah, I got asthma is all. Sorry you gotta wait for me. Do you have an inhaler? Yeah, but I saved that for emergencies. Being slow isn't an emergency. What is this thing? This is like a lime kiln, I think. Kiln? Like a furnace. Oh, furnace for what? Limestone. You like do something with it in there. And it becomes this other thing. Oh. Limestone's weird because it's mostly made of skeletons of sea creatures from millions of years ago. So, like, this was all underwater or something at one point? Whoa. Whoa. I know, right? Like, right where we're standing, there were, like, ancient horrible sea monsters. Creepy and awesome. 
That's history. Okay, I'm ready to go. Okay. So we're going to run over on this episode. Uh, just to warn you guys, you probably noticed already. <laughs> but we're, I want to finish up with Angus before moving on. Oh, another limestone kiln. Huh, huh. Phew. Need to take a break? I'm okay, I'm okay. No prob. Huh, huh. So if this place was underwater, where'd the water go? Aren't there like ancient shark bones up here? I don't know. There might be, I guess. But not everything becomes a fossil. Why? I don't know. I'm not an expert on any of this. But there were definitely ancient sharks around here. Weird, because things are so boring nowadays. To think like all that crazy stuff was going on here? There's always more weird stuff that happened to find out about later. Okay, I'm ready to go. Cool, cool. Okay. Another one. Limestone kiln. You okay, Angus? Uh, 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 please. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. Uh, sorry. Uh, uh. Seriously, it's fine. Hang for a minute. Okay. I should know all this stuff about, like, ancient sea creature rock or whatever. Lime. Uh, stone. I was gonna take a class on dinosaurs back at school. What happened? It was all full up. That class fills up fast. I bet. I love dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are like the most interesting animals. You know they had feathers? Or some of them? I know, right? Big freaky chickens. Things were so scary and cool back then. We'd die in like five minutes. <laughs> oh yeah, ancient creatures would eat us. No problem. Be glad for the millions of years between us. Weird. Time, dude. Time makes most dangerous things less dangerous. Most things, at least. Okay, you ready to roll? Yeah, we're almost to the top. Okay, we'll see what's at the top of this here. Are we gonna go? Okay. Wow. Wow? My old scout camp. Used to come up here with my troop. Like a decade ago. You're the ancient sea monster now. Looks like it. Let's see. Angus's scout camp. Oh, cool. Can we climb up here? Wow, looks like some of the whirly note things came back. The what? Uh, we made these little windmill things and each put an anonymous note in them. Attached to this little spring-controlled helicopter. And the idea was that when the wind would pick up, the windmill would wind wind up the helicopter and the note would fly away. Looks like some of them blew back. That's an amazing coincidence. Oh no, that was the idea. Each year we'd read notes left from the year before. I'm gonna see if I can find any more. I'm gonna hike up here. Been a while. Oh, so those, that's what it was. I think there are some more. I spotted them. Oh, cool. Gonna look. Aye, aye. Okay. No, can we go down? Hello? How do I get down? Okay, just jump off, I guess. Alright, here's one. Got one! Got one! Got one! wonder how many there were. I got three. Wonder if there are more of them. I'll have to look around town for some more of those windmill things. That's funny that they just came up in this this here. I think you got them all, from what I can spot at least. And I got the high vantage point. Let's read them, let's read them. Wait, should we though? We gotta leave them for the scouts. Oh, it's fine. Anyone's up here wouldn't last the winter anyway. Okay, 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 let's read one. Okay, here's one. Hi, I'm not supposed to write my name, and that's fine because I am a scout, and that is the only name I need. Wow, that's intense. It goes on. The scouts gave me more than a name. They gave me badges to show my worth. Jeez. I would kill for the scouts. That's it. Were you all like this? Kinda, sometimes. Nah, maybe. Okay, let's read this here. Read it. Ha <laughs> ha oh dear. What? I am super, super gay. Ha ha ha, nice. Angus, did you write this one? Jeez, I could have. I think my note was about, like, being strong and good. And gay as hell, apparently. I think my total gayness came through to the discerning reader. Alright, this one got kind of torn up. Maybe a bird got it. Read the bird note. I am extremely unhappy, and you're, only, and you're the only person who knows. Oh. Okay. Oh. Hmm. What? Not much changes. Could have just as easily been our notes from ten years ago. 
Yeah. There's like a timelessness about people. Some things just don't stop being what we are. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, It's kind of sad. Okay, we're going back with Angus in the dark. Well, that was a hike. That was a lot easier when I was 11. We passed, what, three gates on the way up here? I lost count. Weird, used to be open back then. Hmm. Ready to go? Not far now, just up ahead. I'm scared. <laughs> Night in the woods. Graves, huh? Yeah, these were... I forget. They were involved in the possum massacre. The, like, labor strike thing. Where it was like the miners versus National Guard. Happened back in town like a hundred years ago. Why are they up here? I think these were some of the bad guys. Some of the miners didn't want them buried in town. Oh. Huh. There's like a few old graveyards up here from, like, colonial times. I guess there's one up here somewhere, too. Well, that's spooky. Eh, just bones. Ancient shark bones? Yeah, see? Nothing left to be scary. Hmm. I feel like we're gonna take a weird turn. We are way over on the time, but I don't want to end right here. I want to end when we're getting home. Uh, we're at a cliff. Wow, we're up really high and really far out. I can see town from here. It's south of us, behind whatever ridge that is. So what, are we just supposed to wait here and see if anything happens? You tell me, you're the expert. I guess we'll just wait here and see if anything happens. <laughs> nice night. Yeah. Back at school, I couldn't see as many stars. It always made me sad. Oh yeah, they're really nice up here. I wish I knew the constellations like you did. What? You know, all the names and the stories and stuff? I wish. I can, I can never remember them other than... I think that one up there is like a bell or something. No, 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 no. Remember that time we were all at that longest night bonfire and we spotted the constellations together? You told us all about them. That's not a thing that happened. Wow, maybe it was like a dream or something. God, I barely remember now. I wonder what fake constellations and stories you dreamed up. Okay, humor me. I'll find the constellations. You tell me about them. Okay, then. Aww. All right, find me some constellations. Wait, are these going to be real ones or fake ones? Just ones I remember. Or dreamed that one time. Ugh. Oh, whichever. Remember Miss Chazikov? Yeah, science teacher. He lives in Underhill and has a telescope on his roof. I totally saw some stars through it. That's cool. Telescopes are cool. Wish I had a telescope. Okay, let's see. Are these all the ones that we found? Oh, we gotta draw a line with them. Oh, no. <laughs> I have no idea what we're drawing. Oh no. Okay. Okay. It's a cat. He's got arrows sticking out of him. And he's chasing a diamond. Oh, I know this one. Don't remember his name. He lived, uh, you remember the stories about the forest god? Yeah. My granddad used to tell me Adina stories. Oh, okay, yeah. Anyway, this cat was in there. Like, shiny things was good at getting through the forest. Was really good at stealing. Oh, wow, yeah, I used to call him Ass Cat when I was little. Well, then he stole a diamond from a king, got arrowed to death. But he was slick enough that he jumped out of his body and became immortal or something. Huh. Decent. Extremely decent. Okay. Um, so we've got this one, I guess, over here. Nope. This is weird. Okay. Up here. Sorry this episode is so long. I know we're going way, way over it, but... Okay. Here's a... It's a Pope! He breathes fire! Oh, this one is real. Or at least the dude is. Rubolo. 
There's a statue of him outside church. Oh, we never went there. Did your family go to church? Did your family go to church? Weddings and funerals and longest night, basically. I don't think those first two count. Those are like events. My mom works up at the church now. I haven't gone really since I was like 14 or 15. Does she mind? She pretends not to. Aww. Okay, and then one down here. And a whale. It's a whale. And it's got, like, the world on its back. Oh, wow, that's sad. Yeah. Kind of a lot of responsibility. Did the whale consent to this? I think it's just always was that way. Oof. You gotta wonder why people made these up. I mean, like these specifically. Who saw a whale and was like, needs to be carrying something? And whales are pretty big. They didn't know what the earth was. Yeah, but, like, I don't assume everything I don't understand is a whale. You could start. <laughs> and another one, I guess. Okay. This one's just a triangle. A bell. Okay, that's a bell. And in the middle is this eye looking at you. Oh, that's a... Uh, I know this one a little from Prague Rock album covers. Uh, I think you die when it rings when it's looking at you. Well, crap. It's high up enough, it's always kind of looking at all of us, right? God damn. <laughs> We're like way out here, huh? In the park? Yeah, I guess. Spooky. I don't know, it's pretty safe. And the stars are pretty. So you don't believe in ghosts at all? Nah, I don't believe in ghosts, or gods, or psychic powers, or anything like that. Not at all? I mean, there's no evidence for them. And people have really tried. Did you ever? Yeah, when I was a kid. Tell me about it. So, um, I don't know how much I've ever told you, or how much Greg has told you, but I didn't have the best childhood. Yeah, I think I heard that. Why was it bad? Um, my dad didn't like me, and my mom didn't either. And like, um, you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. No, it's fine. Uh, my dad used to hit me a lot, and my mom was probably worse. She like wouldn't feed me. Which is why I really like cooking now. <laughs> She'd like shove me into the pantry and slam the door really hard. And all the stuff would fall on the shelves on top of me. Oh my god, Angus. I didn't know at all. That's awful. She'd lock me in there for like a day and a time sometimes. Or overnight. So I'd like try to develop psychic powers. So I could like signal the neighbors. Or unlatch the door. Didn't work, as you might guess. Did you ever tell anybody? I never did. I don't know why. After a while, I, like, started feeling guilty, too, for some reason. Like, this was something bad I was doing. Like, being abused? Angus, that's not your fault at all. You were a kid. Oh, don't worry, I know that now. Boy, do I ever. Question, can I go kick all of their asses? Like, I've got experience, I can F some shit up. <laughs> well, my mom is kinda old now. I... Ugh, still have to visit her sometimes. I have a brother. He's overseas in the army. My dad left like 10 years ago. So who knows where he is or if he's even alive. If he is alive, I don't want to know about it. I guess I just want to give you a hug forever. Ha, <laughs> well, I was luckier than a lot of kids. I'm just glad I didn't like... Yeah. Anyway, to your original question. Testing out my psychic abilities in the pantry made me really interested in both paranormal stuff and science. I joined a skeptic society on the internet. And that kind of ruined me on a lot of other supernatural bullshit, and it gave me something to solve. Something you could debunk, or no. I don't know. Save me a little bit, I guess. Because when someone does all that stuff to you, it can, like, make you do some bad things to yourself. But anyway, yeah. No ghosts or God. So, like, I feel like if I'd been through that, I'd be more likely to want to believe in God or something. Do you believe in anything at all? Um, so like the constellations, I don't believe there's a whale out there, but I, uh, believe that the stars exist, and that people put the whale there. Like, I don't know. We're good at drawing lines through the spaces between stars. Like, we're pattern finders, and we'll find patterns. And we, like, really put our hearts and minds into it. 
and even if we don't mean to, so I believe in a universe that doesn't care, and people who do. Pattern finders. I feel like a lot of people don't think they found God, but like God found them. Like when they were having bad times, like you did? God never did. I was completely alone in the pantry. But a few years later, Greg did. So like, the stars can stay up there and not give a shit about us, but this whale is pretty cool. You're an extremely good and smart person, Angus. I try, but I'm no more than anyone else. This got deep. Yep, yep. I should come out here more often. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Don't look at him. Who? There's someone standing behind us. Are you fucking serious? I didn't see it right now. I just got scared. I got really scared. In the trees. Holy shit. Holy shit. What do they look like? Tall? Wearing some kind of weird coat? Like a utility coat or something? Oh god. That's the ghost. I'm more worried about being a living person. Standing in the woods staring at us. Oh god. Oh god. Well, don't panic. Follow my lead. Hey there. Out for a hike? Nice night. He's not answering. That's a little hostile, right? That's definitely a little hostile. Hey! I know what you did! May know. I saw you! Okay, well, we're gonna run now. We need to get to the car. But your asthma! I got an inhaler. The good kind, too. No one in heaven or earth can stop me. Okay, okay, let's go. Deep breaths. In. Out. All right. Roar! Oh, God. That was so scary. I'm sorry. I think I might have swore really bad, but I did not expect that at all. Oh, my God. That's terrifying. Is he following us? Is he following us? Why is it stuck? Oh, he coming. He's coming. I'm scared. <laughs> this game. What the heck? Are we in the car? Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it on a cliffhanger because we've gone way, way over. We've gone about double the amount of time that we're supposed to. So, guys, I'm going to continue when we're getting done with this. Um, we may or may not, I might, may or may not follow that because we may or may not be close to the end. So, if we are really close to the end, I'll just go ahead and end it. But, guys, thanks so much for the support on this series. If you want to see more of it, make sure to leave a like or subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time when we find out who that guy was and we find out if we're safe. All right, bye-bye, everyone.